Here is a snippet from an amazing panel of experts talking about computer vision artificial intelligence. How did you get into the hardware development game? I'm an embedded systems engineer. Uh, so I was already pointing in that direction and looking, how do, well, how do you take this power and put it in some little thing, right? Like, that's just what I do. And I just kept hearing these stories of friends and, and colleagues and co-founders who had been hit by distracted drivers uh, while riding their bikes to and from work. So I wanted to prove it to myself that, that you could actually build this thing that perceives like a human and could tell when you're at risk from a car uh, to effectively make a person that's the equivalent of a person riding backwards on a bicycle who's looking out for you. Uh, so I prototyped it with Intel technology, a Intel depth camera, D435, a neural compute stick that has a Myriad in it, a Raspberry Pi and, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, and it worked really well, like immediately. You could perceive it, you know, 30 feet if a car was, it was just in a barely uh, barely hit you with a couple inches or barely miss you by a couple inches. Uh, and so then I wanted to productize this. So it was this huge kludge together. It was like my wife's like milk crate, all this stuff kludge together on it. And it had a bunch of components and there was no way you could productize. But Intel actually released their Myriad X chip, which is which is in the OpenCV AI kit, which literally had everything that was on that milk crate. So it has a dual core CPU. It has um, uh, at three times stereo death camera processing for the spatial awareness. It's got a dual core neural compute engine for running the AI models. And then a bunch of other like 20 other uh, CV accelerators for doing platform motion a a estimation, all of these things you needed. And so that was the first time in my career where the chips had existed, but, but you couldn't, you know, you couldn't build off of it because it's so new and all of this is so fundamentally bleeding edge and, you know, science fiction from two years ago. Um, so I had the choice to make to just kind of give up on trying to solve this problem or build the platform. Uh, so we decided might as well take a stab at, <laughs> at building the platform off of this chipset. And that's when uh, Dr. Malik got involved. And, and then this all started to, to snowball as the OpenCV AI kit and, and spur on all these, uh, you know, cool new applications and technologies.